Hello, this is Sierra, and welcome to another video. Today we're doing another video inside of Hermitcraft Season Clockwork. We are reading Chapter 6 of Episode 45. We'll see if we can get to Chapter 47 of, of Chapter 7. We'll see. But yeah, let's get right into it, shall we? <laughs> B-Dub's groaned as he slowly regained consciousness, feeling something soft and warm on top of him. He felt safe and secure here. Even as the events of what happened steadily came back to him, he opened his eyes to stare up at the ceiling above him. Seeing the ceiling lamp glowing brightly, there was no hint of flickering as he looked at it for a moment. He did nothing as he looked away from it at the movement, to some movement in the room. Good morning, Jim's voice said gently. She'd gotten up from a chair. He certainly slept well. Yeah, but I haven't dazed, he admitted sheepishly with a smile. How are you feeling? she asked curiously tilting her head as she looked up, up and down. Better, I guess, he said as he yawned, managing to sit up in bed. For once, he felt completely fine. In fact, maybe even better than fine. What exactly happened? Quite a bit, she chuckled. First, can you tell me what you remember? I was attacked by some crazy guy who wanted to take me to RJ because of my abilities, basically. He sighed. How's my escort? Jem hesitated for a moment. He'll live. But he won't be able to protect anyone much for a while. He sighed in relief. Good. Do you see what he looked like? Jim asked after a moment in silen of silence. The man who attacked you, I mean. I didn't see his face clearly. No, Peter submitted. I don't think I want to anyway. Something about him feels wrong. She nodded as she glanced out the window. He's still out there, somewhere. Peter swallowed and nodded. Do you think he'll go back? Why would he? She asked quizzically. What do you mean? B-Dips asked. I have some abilities from some sort of arthropod that they're testing on that, that escaped. Clearly they want to know how he survived. She had managed a small smile as she pulled something out from her pocket. A stone torch. She held it out to him. Why don't you take it? Uh, are you sure? b said nervously. She nodded as she offered again. It won't hurt, I promise. Hermit sighed as he reluctantly took the torch. His red glow solid as ever. It took him a moment to realize, as he stared into it, that that wasn't the same. Wait, how did you... She giggled as she took the torch back from him. It's a long story. Simple terms. We came back to find out you were doing so well, thanks to the weakness potion and the sickness that you already had. So Blake tried something while he still had the effect. Weakness mixed with water seemed to be the cure for this sort of thing. No way, b Dip said with his eyes wide. As he smelled, for slowly faded as he looked over wearily out the window. He's not going to like that when he finds out. What could he possibly do? Jim asked, her cheerful tone dampened. He could hurt you guys, b Dip admitted quietly as he looked down at the blankets that were hiding his legs. RJ won't like it either. He seemed really eager to experiment on me, from what I've heard. He can't hurt us if we don't give him a chance to, she had said quickly, if you're looking back at her. He saw me talking to you and Tango. He knows how much you care about e we care about each other as friends. I don't want anyone to get hurt because of this, he said quietly, shaking his head. We're not doing this alone. You aren't doing this alone, she insisted, as she walked over to him, put a hand on his shoulder. We have faced danger like this before, and we'll pull through. We can do it again. He just managed to smile. I really think so. Or stronger the demon. Of course I do. She chuckled as he looked over at the door. And she let the others know you're awake and warn them about what you told me. Please don't be long, he insisted. I won't be, she promised. <laughs> Someone will be close by if you need anything. Thank you, he said with a smile. Try and get some more rest, she said gently, so you can get back on your feet in no time. I will, he nodded as he watched her walk towards the door. Disappearing with a wave as he sat there in silence, trying not to think about the possibilities of what would happen if the men found out he'd been cured. The man found out he was cured. I want to know. Chapter 7 <laughs> Beatups opened his eyes to a dimly lit room. The ceiling lamp had turned off, and the only light was through the window. A strange red light floating above him, solid and waving back and forth. He saw a shadowed figure above him. His eyes widened and his finger was placed to his lips. As the voice of the man whispered, If I wanted you dead, you would be. 
Super swallowed as the man put the redstone torch away. He went over to the switch and turned on the lights as the hermit blinked, momentarily blinded as he sat up, wondering if it was worth screaming out for help as the man approached him again. I'm surprised he didn't call for help by now, the man mused with a chuckle. What do you want? Peter's man, the YouTuber demanded. Did you forget? The man asked as he tilted his head. He pulled out a splash potion of some kind. Visibility. I came here to tell you a little story. Or rather, to show you. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to bring back news that you've been cured, as it seems. It doesn't foil the plans, does it? The YouTuber snapped. No, but it put a mini, mighty wrench into it. The man chuggled, put away the potion, and took out what seemed to be a book. No matter, we can fix that when we get to it. I want you to have this, and we get it through. Why should I? Meetups asked warily. It has what you need to know, plus a warning, the man said as he narrowed his eyes. If you don't comply with us, what we ask, in three days' time, I will come with my men and co with consequences. Painful consequences. Stay away from my friends, Beatles warned, pushing back the covers as he put his feet around the side of the bed to four. I shouldn't have to for the time being if you do as we say. <laughs> the man said casually, tossing over the book at him as beat him scrambled back in fright. The men laughed. It's not trapped. Don't worry. It's very difficult to do that with just a little book. Beat him looked down warily at the book before back over at the man. This is odd for you to do. There isn't anything else that you're doing that I'm not aware of. The man laughed. Do you think I'm trying to distract you? Yeah, kind of, the man admitted. Fair, but I assure you, and you can check if you want. But this is the sole reason why I'm here. After that, it's fair game for the both of us, the man said simply, as he pulled out a splash potion again, as he approached the door. Your protectors should do need a lot of better do a lot of better jobs. Your protectors sure do need to do a better job of making sure I can't sneak in. It's pathetic how you Beat ups watched nervously as the door opened as the man splashed himself, walking out of the door that closed behind him. The YouTuber wondered how long he'd been standing in that corner, waiting for the right moment to talk to with him. And now that he was invisible, he could practically do anything he'd any do what he wanted. Gem, Tango, and Pulse Beat ups called as he climbed out of the bed and ran to the door, opening as he opening as opening it as he entered the hallway. Blew up. It was silent and still. The hermit called out again a couple more times before he could see his friends coming out of their rooms, tired and confused. Is everything all right? Jim asked quietly. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you hadn't gone into any of your rooms. He admitted. Wait, who? Tango asked, confused. The man came to visit me. He got by using an invisibility potion. Beat up said quietly. Are you okay? Did he hurt you? And Paul's ass was concerned. No, but he gave me something that he wanted me to read. He to resist slowly. It's safe to come into my room. I think our escort should at least make sure yours are clear of scheming spies. Sounds fair. Jim chuckled as they heard commotion down the hall. Sorry, Miss looked to see a couple of their escorts coming towards them. Everything all right? Miss Ayat asked simply. There was an invisible potential murderer in the building. Dango said simply. Of course everything's all right. We'll scout around to see if they're still here. Blake said simply. Please do. Impulse agreed. Not sure I'm a fan of knowing there's an invisible member of Mr. Azerman watching us like that. Kind of creepy. <sighs> Definitely. Beat ups frowned as he gestured for the other hermits to enter his room. They did so without question. Beat ups went over to his bed, where the book was laid, and sat down, watching as his friends took out foldable chairs in the chest and everyone took a seat. <laughs> the YouTuber looked over at the book and picked it up, looking down at the letter cover. Anyone want to volunteer to read this? I can, Tango offered, as Beat Ups hesitated for a moment before handing its friend the book, glancing out the window for a moment. Seeing light night still holding strong, he could hear pages rustling as his friend looked it over. Should I read this out loud? I guess so, she suggested. What does it say, at least? It's some sort of story about a scientist creating some sort of masterpiece. Then he let them loose and let them wander, wander until they found their place to rest, till they could be discovered. And that they were. Many people that were tested by this sickness, this creature admitted, didn't make it through, make it through, apart from one. Tango looked up at, look at Beat Ups, no one saying a word. 
We all knew who the book was referring to. He looked back down and cleared his throat, and he continued. The scientist was curious to know more about the subject and sent for him. There's then there's this the little added note that saying that he was disappointed that the subject had been cured. Yeah, he probably added that right before I woke up. Beat up chuckled nervously. Tango nodded as he went on. The scientist wonders if he can manage to pull it off again. Wondering if the test subject was immune to the sickness. That's not true, Jim retorted, and Tango held up a finger. And if he can't have that, he'll find another way, the YouTuber replied as he flipped the final, to the final page. And there's the image of the clock right there. The clock image right in the back. Great! So I have three days to decide if I'll give myself, give myself up to be tested or have one of my friends get tested on. Or receive other methods of consequences involving torture, death, or worse. B-Dubs replied bitterly. It's not going to happen. Period. False as a matter of fact. Like, you're not giving yourself up. And we're not going to let the men try to get us. There may not be a choice. B-Dubs admitted quietly as he looked over, looked at his feet. There's always a choice. Tango protested as he closed the book and dropped it on the floor. Even if the men don't think we do, we have a choice. B-Dubs nodded. So let's hope we make the right one. You are not giving yourself up, Jim reminded him firmly. I won't, don't worry, he said with a reassuring smile as his friends before faded. But I don't want you guys to get hurt. No matter what you do, they will come for us and will hurt us, Jim said simply. Trust me, there are many stories out there of friends trying to protect the, those they care about. I want to see those men go back on their word and hurt them anyway. The YouTuber nodded his head again. I will give myself up. She doesn't need to come up with some plan for what to do. Maybe stop whatever experiment they're up to. Jim nodded her head slowly as her features darkened and sat, this forth, sat there in silence, feeling he knew what she was on her mind. The questions he knew had constantly bombarded him with bombarding him. Where do we even begin with that? Impulse finally said quietly. We'll figure that out when we get there, Dango replied. Now, we should all get some rest. Things will be going back to semi-normal from here on out. Be on your guard. No one said anything as they all nodded. Be dips watch his friends as his friends stood up, seeing both Tango and Pulse leave the room. While well, Jam hesitated. Do you think what's going on in other worlds is similar? She asked him quietly. With Greens and my friend my friends? It's possible, he said calmly. We can stop this, don't worry. Can we? She asked with some certainty. It's not impossible, the YouTuber amused with a smile. She returned it. Good night, then, she replied. Same to you, he replied, as she left the room, leaving the door open slightly as he sat alone in the room. Staring at the book that was now lying on the floor, the man said he had a choice to make in the next few days. The truth was, there was no choice. The man was going to do whatever it took to please whoever he was being commanded by. Whether that was on Mr. A or his brother, RJ, it didn't matter. The man was dangerous. He had to be stopped. <sighs> Unfortunately, that's where I'm going to end it. Because that's the end of the book. That's the end of the story. <laughs> I'll give you a little teaser. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And yes, I will see you all in the next one, whenever that might be. Goodbye.